Yeah, joining us now with how the Sunshine State is getting ready, Florida Congressman Neil Dunn. So thanks for coming on. Good to see you. Um, looks like you guys are going to miss the brunt of this storm, but how are you guys preparing? Well, so we actually have a lot of recent experience with hurricanes, and I can't say strong enough. I urge everybody on the coast who may be affected to prepare. You know, it's, it's important to have your evacuation plan, have your food and water available, make sure your car's gassed up, and your generator, too, if you have one of those. Absolutely. Um, Governor Ron DeSantis talked about the preps over the weekend. Let's go ahead and take a listen to what he had to say. Palm Beach County has done a voluntary evacuation order, and we, in, in the era of COVID, uh, I think our guidance from the state has been, uh, look, if it's a close call, air on the side of people just, just hunkering down uh, rather than sending people um, on the road. So that's a question, perhaps not for this storm, um, but even, you know, hurricanes going forward, we're just at the beginning of the season, really. How does COVID change the way you think people should be preparing? How does it change the way shelters would be operating? What's your guidance on that? Well, that's a great question. We're actually in the process of designing and building a, pressure, a shelter with negative pressure areas for specifically for people who are you know, suffering with various infections. So that's that's our look forward. Uh, this time, though, I think Ron made a good point, which was basically, it's, you know, this this is a close call. If we've seen storms go from a category one to five pretty quickly, but this one really doesn't look like it's going to do that. So I feel a little better about it. Yeah, hopefully we're going to get lucky with this one. And it looks like right now, uh, so far we are. Uh, let's talk about uh, coronavirus here for a second. You've got this relief bill that everybody's trying to negotiate in Congress. Um, let's take a quick listen uh, to Chuck Schumer and Nancy Pelosi talking about this. Okay. There are lots of things that we're still divided on. And we're not close to an agreement yet, but we are making progress. And I'm hopeful that we can get to an agreement. Talk to President Trump. He's the one who is standing in the way. They have a $200 proposal, which does not meet the needs of America's working families. And it's a condescension. So she's talking about the extra money that the government's trying to give people. The Democrats, it's very traditional politics. Democrats want to give people $600 and continue on through the end of the right. year. Republicans say that's going to keep people from ever wanting to go back to work. Uh, who's right here? What do you think? Well, no question that President Trump is right. I, I run throughout my, my district, and what I hear from employers is, I don't need any more free money. I need employees. Can you please yeah. find me some employees? Is there a chance you think that the sides come together on this and meet in the middle? Well, you know, the middle is still a pretty bad area. So if you if you actually go to, say, $300 additional a week, you're still paying about 40 percent of people more money than they were making before. Uh, when they were employed. So so that doesn't really know. I, I want to see the I want to keep the businesses open, keep the people employed, yeah. get everybody back to work who's not sick and, you know, do the social isolation thing. And let's let's keep moving. We're making a lot of headway with this disease. Uh, let's let's get the economy back open before we ruin it permanently. Yeah, it, it all ends up being politics at the end of the day. Do you think that there's enough pressure politically that they have to come up with some kind of a deal that it'll just force them together? Something will happen. Well, it feels like that, but, uh, you know, here here we are already into the August recess, and yeah. uh, nobody has a date to come back to Washington. Okay. Interesting stuff. Congressman Neil Dunn, thank you for joining uh, us. We appreciate your time. Thank you. Good to see you.